Well, hi, Blanche. Oh. Blanche, what's the matter? You know that attorney I've been dating? I caught him handling melons at the A and P. And I take it they weren't yours. <laughs> You missed my point, Dorothy. He told me he was a lawyer. Turns out he's a fruit waxer. <laughs> Why do men have to put up false pretenses? This from a woman who wears more padding on her chest than Johnny Bench. <laughs> Good morning. I can't take time for breakfast. I'm late. See you later. Rose, <laughs> aren't you forgetting something? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Mama. <laughs> Rose, it's me, Dorothy. Oh. Did you not sleep again last night? No, and it's been three nights in a row. Honey, have you tried drinking warm milk before you go to bed? No, I can't drink warm milk. It reminds me of the time Cousin Enoch fell into the vat of milk at the dairy. <laughs> Goodness, was he hurt? Oh, no. In fact, it began the annual tradition of the St. Olaf milk diving tournament. <laughs> I won three times in the low-fat division. <laughs> Eventually, they discontinued the event when several spectators were caught dipping their Oreo cookies in the winner's swim trunks. I'll get it. <laughs> Honey, why don't you just take a sleeping pill? Oh, I don't like to take pills. I get slap-happy and say silly things. Well, we certainly wouldn't want that to happen. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Stan. What do you want? I have a surprise for Dorothy. What? Now that you're off the blood pressure medicine, it's working again? <laughs> My God, Sophia, is there anything Dorothy didn't tell you about us? Actually, yes. I didn't know she was pregnant until four days after the wedding. Hi, Sophia. Remember me? Stan's brother, Ted, I danced with you at their wedding. Where were you when they got divorced? I was looking for someone to dance with then. <laughs> Ted, what a surprise. Oh, it's great oh, to see you again. Oh. What about me, babe? Go hug a landmine. <laughs> Lance, Rose, this is my little brother, Ted. Charmed, I'm sure. Oh, there's my new vanity fire. <laughs> he uh, just flew in from Minneapolis. Minneapolis, Minnesota? No, Rose, Minneapolis, France. <laughs> oh, I'm from Minnesota. I'm from Minnesota, too. But then you just moved to France? <laughs> Welcome to my life. It's nice meeting you, Ted, but I have to go to work. Oh, what do you do? Uh, she's Gary Hart's campaign manager. <laughs> Pay much, but you don't have to get out of bed to do it. <laughs> right, I better change. <clears throat> so, Ted, what brings you to Miami? Oh, I'll grab any chance I can to spend some time with the greatest guy in the world. <laughs> My kid brother still looks up to me. <laughs> As well he should. After all, Ted is just a doctor and a pillar of his community. Well, on the other hand, you were the king of padded toilet seats. <laughs> Hey, they sold real well for a while, even put our daughter through college. They got me through some tough times, too. <laughs> so, uh, Ted, did I hear someone say you were a doctor? He's not just a doctor. He happens to be one of the top neurosurgeons in the Midwest. Get out of here. He's also heavy into real estate. No, it's nothing much, really. I just own a few mini malls. Oh, your wife must be very proud of you. Actually, we're divorced. Oh, I'm terribly, terribly sorry. <laughs> Love your shirt. Nice segue, Blanche. You know, I've never met a neurosurgeon before. I would love to hear more about your work. How about 8 o'clock tonight? Well, that sounds good, but I think Stan might have something planned for us. Well, I did have ringside seats at the mud wrestling palace, but, uh, hey, a bird in a hand is worth two in a bush. Elegantly put, Stan. <laughs> well, I guess we're on. Well, we better get going, Ted. We want to get a parking space at the nude beach before all those perverts show up. 